We're back on the hardwood with Lance Thomas and Rayshon Hammonds, uh, Norcross's uh, kind of bookend uh, forwards. Dynamic uh, duo. Dynamic duo. <laughs> Starts in the paint now, right? So uh, thanks for joining us, guys. We really appreciate it. No problem. Um, talk to us. We were just um, talking with uh, Coach <clears throat> McMillan uh, about the culture of the program and how it's built, what it means. Um, what does it mean to you guys, the culture of the program? Well, that mean a lot to us, seeing players that have been uh, already been to the wars and just seeing what they did and put banners up there and stuff like that. That's right. really it. Yeah. Lance, were you familiar with the, the, the culture before you got here, or is that something that's been built in you over time? I mean, I feel like it's both. I remember, like, being younger here about North Cross and then coming here, you see all these banners and you see up here, you got Jeremy Lamb and all these people in the NBA. So, you know, it's just like a winning, like, vibe you just get when you just right. come into school. So. Just translates to the court. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. So when the young kids, like you got some freshmen, like yeah, let's yeah. say Kyle Sturdivant, yeah, and yeah, he yeah. came in, you know, it was Kyle, one of the better sophomores in the country. Yeah. Um, do you take him under your wing and kind of and kind of talk to him about the culture, or or is that something like through osmosis he just sees how you guys work, how coach works, how the school works, yeah. and it kind of builds that way. Um, well, his freshman year when he came, we just took him on our wing. Like, we showed him the ropes around school. Okay. And, like, how we play. Because me and Lance and Jordan, they've been around each other for so long. Yeah. We had to bring him into it. Like, this is how we play. We right. Play up-tempo. If you want to just get along with us. Like, we like once he got here, he just got along with us. Like, okay. It, okay. It, it wasn't no problem. Okay. That's good. Past Norcross players, I, I, I heard you mention the culture of the past players. Do you emulate any of them and pattern your game after some of their success? Uh... I feel like we're different. Like I remember like, watching film on them and just seeing them. Like like all those dudes are big and stuff. And I, feel like, like, I feel like we get like I don't know. I just feel like we get it more than down. Like I feel like we're more like smoother. I, I don't know. I just feel like we're smoother different. than Farouk. I mean Farouk was a dog. Like, <laughs> was a dog. Like, I feel like we're just more like finesse and nice to get a bucket. I just those dudes are just like. Like dogs, just big. Powerful. Like, like this one, a dunk yeah. On like, that was a I tough crew. Like, Those yeah, some yeah, tough crews back in the yeah. day. But I feel yeah. like, like, but but I feel like our style, our style, like gets the same results though. So, so I feel like it's just a different styles. You know, it's like different right. styles. It's all about the end result. Yeah, it's, all about, result. it's all about that banner. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, you know, so you got uh, Norcross has won five state championships in the last nine years or so. Um, in terms of goals this season, is it? championship or bust, I guess, you know, when you build a culture of, of winning the way Norcross has, uh, I think the goal is always the state championship. Yeah, yeah. Now, before I put words into your mouth, <laughs> is that the goal this year to win a state championship? Yeah, that for sure is. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. We've been yeah. together for a minute, too, like, since, like, sophomore year. Like, me and Go played you together for four years. Me and Sean have been together for three years. Me and Dalvin, three, like... Like we've been building up like for this moment. Like this is it. Like this I feel like yeah, yeah, I mean you right. was kinda right. This is it for us. Like right. seniors, like championship yeah. buzz, really. That's okay. Right. All right. Yeah. And coach coach mentioned, uh, you weren't in here, but coach mentioned that your senior year should be about your high school year should be about memories. Yeah. Should be about playing big games. Should be about taking something with you. Do you relish big big games? Do you relish are there some players that you say, you know what? I I'm gonna see him on this date. And the night before, I might not get no sleep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who, who, who you got on that list? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to share that right no, there? I can't share that. I will see. I will see. I definitely going to see. Now, you guys, it, it's, it's, you know, the positions you guys play. You know, I like watching you guys play as a team because yeah. you guys move the ball a lot. Coach mentioned that early when he was on. Um, the fact that uh, he's got five players that can make plays on the floor. Yeah. Um, when you guys, you know, who are some of your, your tougher opponents uh, individually that you guys play against? And then it doesn't even have to be on a high school level, could be on an AAU level, who you guys matched up with. Doesn't have you, to be in, in the state of Georgia. Yeah, like, wow, you know, this is going to be a tough matchup for me. It doesn't have to be me. in the last year. It could have been two years ago. Uh, I want to say Michael Porter. Michael Porter. Yeah. Okay. It really helped. Multi-dimensional. Yeah. He big, big yeah, too, yeah. man. He, he, we do the same thing. He just, oh, just amazed. You yeah. know, you see him on the internet doing all that. Then you see him in person, you got to guard him. 
and he do the stuff that you could do, but it's kind of like amazing because he's so tall. And he's 6'10", 6'11". Yeah. Six, six, yeah. 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 You just be like, oh, he pulled up from the NBA line, and it's like, all right, now I got to play defense up close to stuff right. like that. So right, right. That's probably one of the hard play and Nick Richards. I had to guard him. He real big, big. fella. Yeah, so it was just like, <laughs> yeah. You know, you playing at Bill, you gotta you gotta guard everybody that's real good to get mm-hmm. the same thing. So right. it was like every night you gotta bring your game. If you don't, you will get embarrassed. Right. Okay. What about you, Lance? For me, I mean, for me, like I judge dudes like that, like guarding me too. Right. So I feel like if like I mean, yeah, you could be a like, bucket, but if you can't guard me, then I mean, I don't really care what you can do on offensive wise. But like for me, uh, it's Marvin Bagley. Uh, he was like 6'11 legit, and he could move like like laterally, up and down. He could handle it. I was like, oh. Like, yeah, he's yeah. pretty I was good. Like, yeah, I was playing against him. I was like, yeah. I was jabbing at him. Like most big dudes, I just ripped through and go by him. He was like shaking his feet. I had to come back. It was like, I was like, oh, okay. Make a note, rip through, go through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, <laughs> giving him too much. Don't give him too much information. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, talk about, let's talk about our college choices, Lance. Yeah. Rick Pitino, I noticed you mentioned, you know what I mean, the freedom to play on the perimeter. Patino is a stickler for defense yeah. and toughness. Yeah. Do you do you think that's something you needed to add to your repertoire so you can become a complete player? Yeah, that's why. I mean, that's probably the decision because I feel like he was the coach that was gonna like get the most out of me, like push me like toughness wise and defensive wise. Because I feel like offensively, um, I feel like obviously he was gonna let me go. You feel me? But I'm um, like, I, I just wanna get pushed like to be tougher and better player. Cause I feel like that's what I like right now. I feel like sometimes I could just tend like to cruise. I feel like that was me. That's what I needed. I that's good oh, that you oh, recognize that. Oh yeah, he gonna he gonna keep the foot on the yeah. gas. It's yeah. gonna be all yeah. gas, yeah. no yeah. breaks. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it's interesting as a young as a young player. That's, I mean, that's good that you recognize that you need that because a lot of young players wouldn't recognize that. Yeah. You know, and, so and they won't they won't admit it. No. Yeah. And that's you know what I mean. That's that's part of of maturation mm-hmm. is understanding where you know what I mean your faults and and where you need help and seeking help in those departments and that's what's gonna benefit you in the long run. For you, Rayshawn, now, you are arguably one of the most storied recruits in, in, at UGA uh, since uh, Caldwell Pope. Yeah. And you can help change the culture there because I feel a lot of more kids should be going to UGA, tech, and, and home homegrown schools. Yes, and you made a decision to put that university on your back. Yeah. You know what I mean, what, what was the reason? What was the reason behind it? Uh, just, I was raised in Georgia, been here all my life, and I just want to play here. But the main reason was seeing the culture there. When I when I used to go to the game, see Marcus Thorne play, and just seeing how much the fans really care about the team and the crowd, just see how much they care about it. I just like how Coach Fox uh, coach. That's really it. Like He just let him play, but he's a defensive coach too. Like, I'd be at their practice defense, defense for the first hour or so, probably straight defense. And I just want to get my defense better and better. I really don't care about offense because I know I can do anything offense, but it's defense that I really worry about. I think he's. I think he's one of the best uh, in terms of in, in SEC in terms of development. I think Fox is probably one of the better coaches. So, you know, made, from that, he made a great decision. Yeah, yeah from that standpoint, I, that was a good move. I, I, I can give you some history on him. Like, you, you ever heard of Nick Fasikis? Uh, no. Ramon no. Sessions. Ramon. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kurt Snyder. Yeah. Uh, uh, JaVel McGee. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Travis Leslie. Yeah. Uh, Howard Tompkins. Howard Tompkins. Yeah. I remember him. All of these. He was a dog. All of these were kids that weren't top 100 yes, in their class and he developed them and the majority of them were first round picks some of them were second round picks they went on to have you know what I mean good pro careers so he knows what he's doing yeah believe that I mean if you look at the kid now like uh, JJ Frazier uh, two three years ago there's no one that could that could say that they would say that he's going to be an all SEC uh, yeah. candidate. Yeah. I mean, he was all SEC team, right? last year. It was second team. He was the second team all yeah, he SEC. Was and um, it, he's developed that kid and given him the confidence to do those things. And that's why I think it's a, it's a great decision for you to go there. Yeah. The, the big kid from, from Michigan uh, that's Yante. doing well. Yeah, yeah, Yante, he's doing really well up there. And again, I remember seeing him as a freshman. And I see him now. Yeah. He's a way better player yeah, yeah. so as far as development and, and trying to get you to where you need to get, be and want to be yeah. I think he's a he's a great choice I really do um, in terms of development for yourselves right now you got another year obviously left your, your goal is to win a state championship you want to prepare yourself uh, for 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 your college freshman year how are you guys going about 
preparing yourself for that, uh, whether it's the weight room, whether it's, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm up at 6 a.m. getting shots up. How are you guys going about doing that? Uh, well, right now we're in season, but I mean, even in season, like, I remember in practice, like, we'd be like the defensive slides. I remember like sophomore year, I and mean, then last year, like, we could defend the slides, and I'd be kind of scared to be in the front, sliding my feet. But I know that, you know, to play in that defense, you know, Coach Tino, I got to be able to sign my feet. So just like defensive stuff, like footwork, being quicker laterally, all right. that stuff. <clears throat> being in the gym early in the morning before schools. Um, I'm here like two, like twice a week, at least. At least four schools, getting shots up. It's just a lot. And with the season over, we're going to be at it for real, for real. It's going right. to be every day. Got to get ready. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. Got to get ready. Season over. Yeah. Well, I, I tell you, I mean, <clears throat> again, going back to the mindset, do you know what the biggest struggle is uh, for college freshmen? Weight room. Defense yeah. is the biggest, biggest struggle. You, know, you start talking to uh, college coaches and they'll tell you about their freshman. Yeah, he's talented, but he's struggling on the defensive end. He needs work on the defensive end. He can't guard ball screens. He can't He can't uh, uh, help and recover as, as a big kid. Yeah. Speed uh, of the game. Speed of the game. He loses his man uh, on cut throughs. It's just a lot of things that, because they put so much time into it. Um, you know, I remember, I don't know, I'm sure it's still this way today, the first two, three weeks of practice, forget scrimmaging. Yeah. <laughs> there is no we're not getting up yeah. and down in yeah. scrimmaging. Yeah. You know, and, and, and I think that's probably a similar situation there because I know Eddie was the same way. He was, we're going to work on skill development and shortening the court and, 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 and working in threes yeah. as opposed to doing a lot of full court stuff. I'm giving you a little Notes. too much right here Notes. again. Notes. So, uh, <laughs> so I, I'm glad that you guys understand that because a lot I, I tell players all the time, and they'll call me back in like September, like coach, yeah. I can't believe it, man. This defense and the yeah. conditioning, and wow, I didn't know it was going to be like that. Well, yeah. I've been telling you that, yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know. Yeah, so yeah. it's good that you guys have that mindset. Um, is there anything that you want the viewing audience to know? about yourselves that you would like for them to know that they don't know? Like a fun fact? Fun fact. Fun fact. I play chess. That's what a style? Where the chess board? <laughs> 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 Where's where that? I started playing chess when I was like five. I need to see you. I'm okay. a teacher. She's okay. a teacher, so I love chess. Oh, that's it. Well, you, you got to be a good student, too. Yeah. If mom's a teacher, she's not going to accept anything yeah. less. Yeah, mom dudes don't play like that. No. Are you, are you from New York? Yeah, she's from. Yeah, I mean, I'm from New York, but okay. I moved here when I was like seven. So I, I heard that mom Dukes. Yeah, mom Dukes. <laughs> How about you? How about you, Rashawn? Any any fun fact that you want the uh, uh, the viewing audience to know about you? I don't got one. To be honest. No fun fact. <laughs> nah, Lance, can he dance? Sean? No, I can't. Uh, no, 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 Hey, Lance Thomas, Rayshon Hammonds on the hardwood. Thank you very much, guys. No Fellas, problem. we want to we want to wish, wish you much success, not only in in your high school senior year, but moving forward, college, potential pro careers, and don't forget our floor seats. <laughs> I got you. I got you. I got you. It's all about that grind, fellas. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you.